What's up guys? Special video series for you today. So I'm with my friend Shelby right here and she actually has her own YouTube channel so I'll I'll probably throw up a little clip somewhere. Oh my goodness. Thank God for this bell. And Scooby Doo. Bye bye. Here we go. Um, so for those of you that don't know, I'm currently a Penn State World Campus student, um, software engineering, yes. Um, and I, because I transferred from University of Miami, I had to retake Computer Science 101 um, in C++. And I obviously have some background in computer, computer science, so I kind of put it off to the last second. Um, last second being like the last week. So basically at this point, I have one week to complete the entire college course, so I was like, why not bring the YouTube family into it, you know? So, just so you guys know that I'm not lying, um, can, you, can you like zoom yes. in on my... Let me zoom in on your screen. Yeah, so just so you guys see that I'm not lying, this is kind of my modules, um, we use Canvas. Um, you see that I did like the module one, which is like the introduction stuff. I just started module two, and everything else is incomplete. So that's a lot of stuff to do. This, this course actually ends in five days. And to, and, to make it even, and to make it even harder, I was like, this is too easy for me. Like, why don't I try to teach one of my friends who has no experience in, back, in, in background in computer science how to do this? So we're, this is what this video series is going to be all about, um, and, and we'll see what happens. Um, you yeah, know what I mean? yeah um, I have no experience. <laughs> yeah, so this, this will definitely be interesting, guys. And if she somehow manages to do it, you guys have absolutely no excuse. No, nothing. No I know nothing. Yeah. When I say nothing, I mean no. nothing. I'm now entering my first class. This is gonna. This is gonna be good. I positive vibes. Positive vibes. Yeah, positive vibes. So basically, what this module is trying to teach us is the concepts of variables and then also input and output. Okay. Input and output. Input. So input yeah. And then it, it's there's an output. Exactly. So input and output in this case is basically like taking input from the keyboard and then outputting it to the screen. So, it's like I input this water and I'll put it inside my body. Technically, technically that, that, that's an example, yeah. There's my example. Um, we're probably gonna upload one one problem because this this might take a while. No, no, come on, okay, I'm gonna listen, I'm listening <laughs> okay. out. Oops, I'm, here, please, uh, yeah. Don's no longer we'll available. Going. It's just me now. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. So no more funny business. So to start off any program, C plus plus program, we need to say hashtag include IO stream, and this is something you're end up like just memorizing. Um, this is something we need to tag. Um, no, that's HTML. Don't worry. No, it, it was it was a swing and a miss, but I like the effort. Um, so we can say hashtag IO stream, and then using namespace STD. STD. S STD. Yeah. <laughs> I think it stands for standard. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, so basically, these two lines, it's like it's obviously a C++ program. Um, every single, single C++ program starts off with a main function. So you're going to type in int main, parentheses, and then you can close that off. Cool. And basically, whenever we code, this is going to be the main screen. It's the main function that the um, program initially calls. Yeah. All right. So looking at the prompt, this is what we want. We want to say enter length, enter width, enter height, and then output the volume is six all right so that's so what we're, that's all we care about that's what we're going for so okay. basically test we, one failed yeah because I, I didn't type anything in <laughs> um, so basically um, to do this we're gonna need three variables to hold the link within height all right so we're gonna take the user input and then store them into variables where are we getting this input from the users just gonna type it in so you as you the user you're gonna type in the yeah variable? but I think for vicarium they they already they gave they like um, they test it. Vicarium? Yeah. What, what does that mean? I don't know. It's this, it's this, it's this website. It actually, I, oh! I thought it was a word! No, 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 no. Okay. All right, so we're going to say, <laughs> to declare variables in C++, um, first you need to declare the data types, so there are different data types okay. in programming. Um, so in this case, we're going to use int, which stands for integer. You remember what integers are? Um, numbers? Yeah, they're basically just whole numbers, so like... Oh, is that is that including zero or no? I think it does include zero, yeah. yeah Math, nice. man. So I'm going to say int, so I'm saying let's de let's declare some variables, and I'm going to name my variables now. Um, so just to make it simple, I'm going to say L, W, H, 
and I'm gonna use commas to differentiate them, and basically this, these are gonna stand for a length, width, and height. Okay. Right? Um, so now that we have that done, we can actually start outputting to the console. So to do that, we say C out, open, open friends, um, those quotations, and we're gonna say enter length, boom. And then we're gonna say C in. So basically what C in does, it, it grabs in the next input and places it into a variable. So we're gonna say C in L, and then we're gonna output Isn't that. Is that a one? No, it's an L, I know, it, it, it's, it's kind of annoying. And then boom. And we're going to say C out. C out, enter, width. Exactly. I think I can take over from here. You think you got this? Yeah, let me, let me. Yep, yep. Okay, well. Here we go. All right. Ow. Don't mind me, everyone. Okay, now I'm going to go C I N. Bam, bam. That's going to be a W. Then I'm going to do a semicolon. Mm hmm. And then I'm gonna go down, down, and then I'm gonna go sin. No, Boom. you miss. You have to do a C out W. Oh, it looks like clout, so that's how I'll remember it. Yeah, that looks like clout. Yeah. Okay. C out, and you say W. Well, the, those two like brackets. Yep, W. No, don't I have to do enter. Well, no, what I did it. No, just do W. So see here, like in the very beginning, we're saying C in L, and then we just C out L and line. Yeah. It's the same exact thing. So you see in W and then C out W and line, and then you're good to go. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So then, okay, I, I end it. I see. Because yeah. I have to close it. Mm -hmm. W. Boom, boom, and W. NL. It's, it stands for M line. So it's basically like it moves it to the next It line. is so rude how, like, this is a one and this is an L. Yeah. Please yeah. tell me the difference, everyone. <laughs> I'm gonna need, I have to write an email to someone because yeah. that's not gonna work for people like yeah, me. Yeah, right. life will carry him now. So I'm going to. So now we do the exact same thing, but for. Um, yes, for height. Yep. Vocarium, I am going to email you regarding your L. Okay. Um, enter. Hi. Oops, learn to spell hard. Does it matter if it's not right underneath it, or should I just? No, that doesn't it? matter. But something that is important that's really annoying with C plus plus is that you need a semicolon at the end of each line. I know, like the developers out there watching this right now, like it's all. Why are you so mad about yeah, it? Yeah, they've all been through the thing where like you get a bug and you've been like staring at it for hours and it just. And it's just running. because it, you it's missed a, a semi. It's a semicolon. Yeah. Damn. We should make. I want a shirt that says like something about a semicolon. Like it probably is. Yeah, well, I want to make my own. That's cooler. H. Boom, boom. And L. Nice. Not a one. Okay. So, semicolon. so make, let's go Sem back real quick and make sure that there's a semicolon at the end of each line. Nope. Including including this one. This one, too? Yeah, but you want it after the Wait. quotations, at the very end. Okay, because there's not any here. Yeah. I didn't so you were tricking me. Yes, yes, I messed up. I'm too used to Swift. Because Swift, you don't need that. Okay, and then we'll learn Swift later. I guess we have to take this class, though. Five days, man. Yeah, no, I can't fail this class, guys. I'm okay, not. I'm, I'm not going to let you, okay? Uh, semicolon, 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 Perfect. Okay. All right, so now that we have those three va values, now we can calculate the volume. So how we're going to do that is, um, let's, let's space, like, let's get a new line going. Um, like, after this? No. Oh, but still, still yeah, including this. Okay. Um, so, yeah, just return a couple times. All right, so now we're going to say int. <laughs> And space volume. Do you want me to actually write volume? Um, you can do V if you want. Okay. Um, int V no no comma. You're gonna say equals. Um, do a space. I'm not sure if that matters. Like I mean, like a space in between the V and the equal sign. Egregious. Yeah. So just. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna just add. Yeah, that works. And that's gonna be equal to L times W times H. Wait. Yep. Do that. Yep. L exactly. Time. I remember how hard it was when I switched from doing X's to like yeah, O's. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like in computer science, that's that's big. Like an X, like it's, it's you can get an error. Um, so don't forget the semicolon. So that's cool. So what we just did right there was we created a new variable called v. That's an integer. And that's I just created a variable. And that's and that's equal to l times w times h, which is going to be our our length, width, and height.
because we learned in middle school that volume equals length times width times height. Exactly. So our final step is to press return. Return. And now we're going to see out. Do I write C out? Yep, write C out. Oh, I kept, I was like, oh, count. Count, count, yeah. C out, um, and then the two little arrows. Uh, that way. Yep. And then we're going to say... Hello. Just making sure. Quotations. <sighs> okay. Quotations. Quotations. Do I need a space? Um, no. And then we're going to say capital, the volume is, just like exactly what that is, but without the six. Okay. The volume is space and qu another quotations. Two more arrows and then just the letter V and then semicolon. So we're going to click run up top and hope this works. And this will be Shelby's first C++ program. Da no, 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 no. Sub run, run. Oh, submit. I always <laughs> yeah, like submit. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, yeah. ba -ba -ba. Uh, oh. Four stars. <laughs> Test one failed. What? No new line at... Oh, sorry. Okay. So something annoying about C++ is that because it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a main function, so you, like right at the very end, um, still inside the brackets, mm -hmm. you're going to say return space zero semicolon. Right, run that again. Yeah, let me just run back yeah. this. And I can explain that what that means later. Hello. No new. Oh, okay, so it wants a new line. Um, in between, at the end of V. Well, <laughs> welcome to computer science, right? Yeah. Um, this at is the end awesome. of V. At the end of V, do two more. Um, right before the semicolon. Okay. You want to have two more arrows and do the end line. So E, like, yeah. And L. Yep. Semicolon. Semicolon. And that should be it. Come on, baby. Run, 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 run. Nice. So Woo! We, see, we see test one, test two, test three pass, and that's the first part of my homework. Thank you very much. Can I submit it? Yep, we're gonna submit that. <gasps> uh, yes. yes. And there you have it, guys. That's gonna be module two. There's a few more problems that I can probably take care of myself, but that's the basic idea. Um, and that should be it for the first episode, right? Like, how how are you feeling right now? I'm I'm feeling very accomplished. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. So that's just the beginning, guys. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe. Um, please subscribe to Shelby's channel as well. Um, we're going to be pushing out these videos because, of course, we got to get it done. We got five days. So. We got five days, so stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys later. Because I need to, I want to learn this. It needs to stay in my head. Yeah, this is, yeah, we'll, we'll get it down. We'll, we'll turn into a software engineer. A software engineer. Yeah, we'll. See you guys, well, no, I'll see you, I'll see you guys in the, the next video, but, like, oh, goodbye. <laughs>